guys. Um, today I'm going to attempt to do a get ready with me. I have a wedding that we're going to go to actually in a few hours. So I had to get ready anyway. And I wanted to see how this chit chat get ready with me type of video will work. So yeah, we we'll just start getting ready. I'm going to moisturize my face. I really like using the Estee Lauder Nutritious Moisturizer. It doesn't have any SPF in it, so I'm going to put that in afterward. I'm going to let that sit into my face and I'm going to go in with my eye cream. My favorite eye cream at the moment is the Bobbi Brown um, Hydrating Eye Cream. I do get really, really uh, dry under my eye area, so I like to make sure that I keep them as hydrated as possible. I get really, really dry, especially like in this area here. I have these modified Asian eyes because I have so many ethnicities running in my body that my eye shape is kind of strange. And I have that flap of skin that you guys always hear me grumble about. I just hate that. So I don't have an inner corner. I just have flaps of skin. Most people can do that cute inner corner thing. No. I can't. It's unfortunate. Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Smoothing Primer. And I just place these in the areas where my pores bother me. Where they're very, very visual. Visual? Visible. My favorite combo, and that is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless with the L'Oreal Infallible. These two together. together. They're just amazing. And I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to place this on my face. Now I like to work in sections with this foundation because it sets really quickly. Even with the mixture of them both together. My favorite concealer for if I'm going to be taking photography, a lot of photos, I really have to say, is my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm just going to take it See all the particles flying everywhere. Well, it looks kind of stark white right now, but I, I'm going to put another color over it. This is just to kind of make it really bright.
same brush, I'm going to take the color Nectar Blue. I'm going to focus it more on my actual crease. I don't really have a crease, so I kind of have to create one in my eyes or put it. So where the crease would be is right here. So I have to just kind of create one. I'm going to use the color Best Friend with a Morphe E17 brush. I'll focus it more on the outer corner. too much color. And the middle of my eye. It's a very, very, very cool tone gray. And I put my eyelashes on, off camera, cause ain't nobody got time for that. From the Tarte Lip Palette. The darker gray color from the Kat Von D Palette. Just to tie it all together. I think I'm a fan of the secret brightening powder. It just really whitened my face. Like that. Let's see if we can fix it. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs Eyefly Filter Powders in the shade 60 with a Sigma F25 and see if I can remedy the, remedy the situation. My Marc Jacobs High Filter in the shade 4D.
just a little, just to even up my face. Now, because it's the summer and I want to be bronze, I'm going to take one of the. Exposed by Tarte, just <clears throat> for a light wash of color. And then for a highlight, I am going to use my Becca Rose Gold first. I'm going to use the Mac Daddy Artist Couture highlight in the shade, yes. This is this Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm just going to line my lips with this NYX pencil in the shade New Pink. One of my favorite glosses at the moment. These are the Lorac Ultra Eagle Lip Glosses. This one's in the shade Socialite. To dust away the powder, I'm just going to use my hourglass and hand setting powders. And that is the finished makeup look. I will be right back. Thank you. 